Hi guys, welcome to your read aloud video for the unit seven test. Just like before, this beginning part right here is just for your teachers to use when they grade your test. So we are going to start with number one. Number one wants you to figure out what unit you would use to measure the length of an Olympic swimming pool. You are going to circle one on each one for the English unit and for the metric unit. So would you use inches or yards and meters or centimeters? Number two, which unit would you use to measure the amount of gasoline in a car's tank? Would you use gallons or cups? And then would you use milliliters or liters? Number three, which unit would you use to measure the weight of a horse? Would you use pounds or ounces? And then would you use grams or kilograms? This second part right here, you are given the different measurements and conversions that you will need to complete problems four and five. So number four, says that Ricky is riding her bike to school. Her school is four kilometers from her house. How many miles is her school from her house? You have to show your work on this one and it wants you to round your answer to the nearest tenth. Please pause this video while you complete this problem. Number five says that Sal needs to cut a board 10 centimeters wide, but his ruler measures in inches. How many inches wide would Sal cut the board? So you're converting from centimeters to inches. Again, you have to show your work and round your answer to the nearest tenth. Please pause that video and solve number five. Number six wants you to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So it says today's high temperature was 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the formula to convert today's temperature to Celsius. Again, you have to show your work. Number seven says Lita's recipe for wheat bread says to bake the bread at 175 degrees Celsius. Use the formula to determine the Fahrenheit temperature Lita should use or should set her oven. Please pause the video and complete number seven. Number eight wants you to complete the function table over here to the side. So you're filling in the missing numbers in part A. In part B, it wants you to describe the rule in words. So what are you doing to each one of these numbers to get your Y? In part C, it wants you to write an equation for the rule. And in part D, it wants you to write the numbers from your table as ordered pairs. Part E wants you to plot those ordered pairs 
on the grid below and connect your points. Part F wants you to use your rule that you wrote above to find the number of ounces of butter for 27 tablespoons. And part G wants you to describe any patterns that you see in your graph. You may pause the video and complete those at any time. Number nine, part A wants you to write an equation that you could use to find the distance, or y, that a train travels in x amount of hours. And then part B wants you to use the graph or the equation to calculate how far the train travels in three and a half hours. And then part C wants you to explain how you found your answer for part B. Once you are done with your test, you may take it back to your teacher and turn it in.